All right, welcome everyone. Um, happy to have you here on this webinar. I'm Jose Maldonado. I'm here with Mauricio Cardenas, and we want to talk with you a little bit about an upcoming release that we're very excited about. Um, so first, let me just jump right in and get started. So at Process Maker, we've spent a lot of research in understanding the driving factors behind the core capabilities that most of our client organizations are looking for, especially in this environment that we're currently in. So if you've paid any attention to some of our previous keynotes and webinars, you'll already be familiar with some of these key trends and our thought process around trying to solve for them. Um, so first, their focus, um, we, we find a lot of investment and focus in trying to be financially effective and intelligent about where your money goes and how it's being spent. And then we see a lot of trends in growth. So having clear paths towards target performance goals. And finally, efforts on business transformation. So really making sure that users, employees, and customers have increasingly incredible experiences. So solving for all of these trends, we noticed that the market, particularly around enterprise software, and um, from their uh, SaaS applications has organized uh, across vertical clouds. So this is aggregating a set, a core set of capabilities specifically centered around dedicated industries that help accelerate the transition into cloud architectures that are built for scale, for integration, for standardization, which in, in turn help to drive reusability, composability, and automation. Um, so in response to all of these, we think that there is space um, and indeed a need for leveraging the same architecture, but for company-wide cross-department cloud automations. So for sales, human resources, marketing, and that's why several companies are building software in these clouds. But we also think that there is a need for automating the ability to hide and merge these functions um, of these separate clouds together. Uh, that unlock seamless integration, AI-driven automation experiences for users and real-world workflows. So touching on several aspects of the business. And that is what we, that's what we set out to build and what we're building with our newest versions of our flagship platform, an end-to-end -end automation cloud that, that serves as an experience hub or a glue across otherwise disparate use cases of business automation. So to be able to develop this kind of AI automation, we really think that there's three core sets of capabilities. Uh, first is the ability to understand the intent of a client. So this is to understand what they're trying to achieve in the first place. Then there's the ability to make a decision to act and respond to that intent based on available um, or predicted otherwise unavailable information and all the criteria to best solve this request. This decision can be a straightforward BPM workflow decision. It can be a decision through a decision management engine or, or even a decision entirely driven by AI. And of course, then we want to source content to better inform these decisions from all sorts of different sources. This includes external APIs, and we want to be able to search through different systems, structured and unstructured. We want to be able to add RPAs to automate those capabilities. So that's why if you look at our roadmap, you'll find amazing features aligned with automating document classification and data extraction, or managing workflow independent decision rules or leveraging natural language as a means to interacting with and understanding key process um, information. All right, so, so as we are working on these amazing things, we have to ask ourselves, well, what does this mean for our existing batch of customers? What can we do with all their current investments and in highly curated, very specific solutions that they already have running? and that have been you know, adjusting and tweaking for, for years potentially and driving real value from. This is particularly true for our PM3 customers, uh, PM3 being one of our most popular versions still in use today. So certainly one, we want to ensure that these investments are maintained and preserved, while at the same time, we want to enable these customers to leverage all these amazing deliverables that can unlock their next stage in automation. So we asked ourselves, what if we release a unified version of our platform that supported seamlessly everything already built and operating in PM3, but allowed the immediate development of new processes in whatever latest version we have made available and have those running in parallel unaltered to everything that already exists? 
That is what we set out to do and what today we're very happy to announce. Come this April, our new offering of PM Platform will effectively offer a single solution, a single solution where everything you have available in PM3 from processes, custom plugins, reports, everything will continue to work unmodified within an environment that also includes all our latest and greatest versions and features that we've been talking about. We think that this is a great opportunity for existing customers to feel secure in their current production investments while still being able to leverage all that snazz and jazz that we're so excited to get out the door. So I'm very excited to hand it off to Mauricio Cardenas, our PM platform lead, to walk us through the specifics of this offering. Thank you so much, Jose. Well, um, I'm the product release manager of Process Maker. I'm very excited to be here. Let me share my screen. Well, Process Maker platform is designed to provide. Um, it's a Process Maker platform is is, is is designed to provide our customers with the best of two worlds with the new Process Maker four as the main UI interface. Customers can design new processes using the latest PBM technology. However, we also understand that our customers may have existing processes already running on Process Maker 3. That is why we are providing the option for customers to continue using Process Maker 3 as an option called Process Maker Classic. This means that customers can continue to operate their case requests using Process Maker 3 without any limitations or restrictions. One of the most exciting features of Process Maker Platform is the use of global items. With global items, uh, we have global uh, we have screen forms available for any process to use, along with global scripts that any process can use as well. Customers can leverage the power of custom scripts, executors, and dockerized code execution. This allows them to use any programming language and contain any amazing code they can create and imagine. Additionally, Process Maker Platform also features global connectors with any third party. REST API and YSDL service without any additional complexity. Collections replaces the classic PM reports to share data collections between processes and watch your actions execute complex scripts in execution time while working in, with forms. Well, we have also the dynamic UI allows customers to customize their home application to fit their business company culture and objectives. Finally, an amazing safe search functionality is provided, which uses our structured process maker query language called PM12. There's a lot of opportunities using Process Maker, and we are very excited to, to show these new options. And we are thrilled to provide our customers with the opportunity to upgrade the Process Maker platform. This new product is designed to improve their overall experience with our software and enable them to take advantage of the latest PPM technology. Um, while we understand that Process Maker 4 and Process Maker 3 are different products, we want to reassure our customers that we are giving them this opportunity for their benefit. We believe that Process Maker platform will enhance their business operations, and we are excited to provide this as a gift to our valuable customers. Now, um, I think we can start showing a little bit uh, of this demo, a small demo of the Process Maker platform, which includes uh, accessing to Process Maker Classic and the new Process Maker 4. Well, this is the log of Process Maker platform. I will log as, a, as, an, as, as an administrator. As you see, we have a different UI that is very, very competitive nice looking and can be customized as much as you want. You have the, the case request over here that you have your request has been the, that has been created, the, the ones that are in progress, completed or requests. Also we have here the, the, the safe search functionality. What is called the safe search? Because you can uh, use the PM quill in order to, uh, to create a more precise queries in order to get better information and you can save as many as you need we have clarity regarding your request. We also have a following up um, page where you can review the task that you have it completed. And also this has the functionality of creating safe search. So this can be customized as much as you want. And we have a nice designer with 
nice of, uh, options like, for example, a scripts, uh, a, a, a scripts uh, the, the screen forms, the environment variables, the signals, and the data connectors. And for example, you have many options that you can use as part of the design. But let's move on with PM Classic because right now I believe you're more interested in continuing your operations using Process Maker Pro. But uh, let's this load the screen of the PM uh, of the design view. Perfect. So let's go to PM Classic. That this is the option. You can access the same environment of Process Maker 3, where you have the my, my cases to make um, a following up, key following up of your case requests, which were started by you in progress completed. Also, you have the old safe search we, uh, we used to call advanced search. So you can create as many safe search for your, uh, for your following up of requests. You have the option to add uh, to, to, to review your, your tasks that are in box, draft, pause, and, and unassigned with the different views we have as part of Process Maker Pro. Now called Process Maker Class. Also, the PM, um, the task metrics to drill down regarding the information we have as part of the case requests. Now, if you're the administrator, you can access your process without any kind of problem. And you can edit your processes and continue your operations, improving your process day by day. So there are no restrictions for you to continue your, 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 your operations. Or if you need, you can set the environment uh, settings in the administration tools. Great. We hope this webinar has provided you with a valuable insight into benefits of upgrading your instance into Process Maker Platform while still having the option to utilize Process Maker Classic. We are excited to continue bringing you new innovative features through our ambitious roadmap for the product, as Jose explained very clearly. Now, I think we can. Uh, start uh, ans uh, answering some questions. Thank you very much for your participation today. And please, uh, if we can clarify any, any, anything, go ahead. Thank you. Great, thank you so much, Mauricio and Jose. Uh, now we'd like to go ahead and open the floor up for any questions. I, we know that that's a lot of information to process and we wanna make uh, make things uh, as smooth as possible. So any questions out there, feel free uh, to put them in the Q&A section. No questions? All right, we'll give them a few minutes to see if they can come up with something, type something up there. All right, while we wait, um, I have a question. Uh, can you guys give us an idea of what the time light, uh, timeline excuse me, for the transition is going to be like to Process Maker Platform? Well, I think I can answer that question. Um, the transition will not take so much because uh, we need to have first, uh, one of the requirements is to have the client in the latest version of Process Maker 3, which is 3.8. And we need to integrate this, uh, this, this communication between Process Maker 3 and Process Maker 4. So, the, the, so the, this, this process won't take um, longer as 20 minutes as, at maximum. Perfect, very nice. All right, so we have the first question or second question. Uh, is Process Maker Platform cloud-based or on-prem? For the moment, this is cloud-based, but we envision to have this for on-prem. Perfect. Uh, will the documents uh, that were stored in previous workstation, uh, or excuse me, in previous work stay the same? And will there be an easier way to retrieve the documents in the new version? Yes, we are, you will have all the documents and all the information of your cases without any kind of problems. And there won't be any kind of limitation regarding acquiring these files. Perfect. 
Uh, next question is, is the is this service of pro, for Process Maker platform, uh, does it require a new license or any additional fees for companies or users who are already paying for Process Maker? Actually, that is a wonderful question. As mentioned, this is a gift from us to our customers. So in that sense, if you're, you have a license on Process Maker 3, you will have this option. Right. Um, is the upgrade from Process Maker 3 to Process Maker Platform the same as any other version upgrades? No, this transition, this, this, this uh, interaction with Process Maker Platform will be slightly different. It doesn't require to, to run the upgrade script, just require uh, uh, an integration with Process Maker Platform and that's it. You don't have to, to have uh, the whole procedure and waiting too much time to making this upgrade. Uh, would there be an option to request a sandbox env environment to test it out? Yes, I, I think we can discuss this with customer success. Uh, we need to analyze each one of the cases, right? And is there a specific process uh, for migration from uh, PM3 to PM4? You just need to contact your customer success agent and, and we can schedule this, this, this integration with the, our cloud operations team. Okay. And uh, also, will the new functionality be available on the mobile app? Yes, yes. You will have uh, the same use of mobile without any kind of restrictions. This won't affect the current uh, plugins and functionalities we have in Process Maker 3. Right. Any other questions out there? You guys are doing great. Get everybody's uh, questions answered. Well, and the designer in Process Maker 4, ah, very sorry, I didn't read the question. How will the designer change compared to Process Maker 3? Well, we need to understand that both are different products, right? Process Maker 4 is a state of art regarding BPMM. So you will need to re reimagine the processes you are running over Process Maker 4 to make a, to, to use different functionalities. So in, essentially, the designer will be the same but you will have more options using Process Maker 4 and you will have a competitive roadmap of functionalities come ahead. So um, it will be different, but will, you will have the same um, experience by designing your processes with broader options. All right. Uh, another question here, we're planning to upgrade uh, from Process Maker 2 to Process Maker 3. Does this mean that Process Maker 3 is going to be the end of life and Process Maker Platform is the better option now. Do you want to answer this? I, I could take a stab at it. And is we, if you're in Process Maker 2, then we definitely encourage you to leapfrog all the intermediate versions and explore with customer success what a trans, what a, a, a what an upgrade path would look like to go straight to, to the latest version of PM Platform. Are the legacy uh, PM3 processes, uh, communications and interactions with cases opened in PM4 or are they separate? Well, um, the run of the cases of Process Maker 3 will be independent for each one of the, of the engines, but you certainly can integrate both products by using a REST API functionalities with data connectors and yes, with data connectors. Okay. Uh, will there be an open source version available? Um, Process Maker 4 has an actually a, an open, open version. So you can use that version in order to test our new product. Okay. And does this, pla uh, does, this plas does this platform, will it still be affected by bugs on, on Process Maker version 4 and 3? Or will new patches be released when the platform releases? Well, Process Maker 3 won't affect Process Maker 4, right? We are just running uh, the new Process Maker platform that, of course, has their own um, bug fixing time and will have proactive, we have proactively resolved any kind of issues we will have on the platform. Having in mind, this will be a SaaS product. We need to constantly improve the quality of the service we're providing. Okay. And what happens if the process migration uh, fails due to custom coding in PM3, which might not be supported in PM4? 
I can take a stab at this one and, and tie it to the next one, which is, do we, do we have to remap all our old processes? So the, the, the big part of the message here is that every process that you have currently, including anything with custom code or any functionality, if it's working today in PM3, it will continue to work uh, with PM platform. So you do not have to remap your processes. You do not have to migrate your processes. Your processes will continue to function as they function today. We want to encourage you to continue driving value, business value of the, docu of the processes that uh, are already in play. So there, so there is no concept of, of migration failures or custom coding in PM3. Whatever works will continue to work. We are just wrapping this with the capability of creating new processes that leverage all the additional feature base of Process Maker Platform. Uh, does the open source version include Process Maker Classic? No, both the separate, right? So right now, Process Maker 3 has their own open source product, and Process Maker 4 has their own open source. So each one can be can be tested independently, but not necessarily will have this integration as Process Maker Plus. Got it. Uh, can a client upgrade from PM3 to PM4 themselves by gradually moving from the lower version to the higher version after purchasing the licenses? So I want to tackle this again to kind of highlight the, the same point. Um, when you upgrade, all you're doing is unlocking all the additional features that PM platform and the latest uh, releases offer while still preserving the, um, the existing processes. So you're not necessarily forced to have to start using all the new features from day one. So you can upgrade today, everything will continue to run, and then slowly at your own pace, you start ad adapting and learning and being comfortable with the new features uh, you know, as they start making sense to you. So there is no pressure between you know, driving the upgrade and actually start driving additional value from it. Perfect. Uh, how would the REST API integrations programmed in, in Process Maker 3 be functioning in Process Maker 4 through Process Maker platform? The REST API is working on Process Maker 3 will continue working, right? But we need to understand that Process Maker 4 has their own REST API services because it has different uh, functionalities like collections, for example. So it is slightly different than using the PM report. So in, in that sense, we need to understand that each one, they have their own uh, REST API services and both will work things without any kind of problems, but there is not an integrated REST API, right? Each one has their own independent REST API. Yeah, but just to answer the question point blank, REST API integrations program in PM3 will continue to work and will continue to work as expected when, they, when the processes are wrapped around the PM platform product. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, another question is we are on uh, 3.5 and use custom plugins as well as custom columns that display on inbox list. Would this experience continue with Process Maker Platform? Yes, yes, you will have your, if you have a custom plugin that will continue working. Uh, does Process Maker 4 and Process Maker Classic share the same database? Say I create a new case in Process Maker Classic, will that same case show up in Process Maker 4? No, but you will have an integrated notification system to understand that you have requests assigned to you, right? But each one of the cases will maintain their, their own information in their current database. So there won't be a mixed database between Process Maker 3 and Process Maker 4. We need to, uh, we need to uh, have um, a careful uh, concern regarding performance. So that is very important to maintain independent. Okay. Another question. After I move my processes to Process Maker 4, can I view old completed cases which were created using uh, the 3.x version? 
you don't need to move your processes to PM4. So you can still see the completed cases and you will be able to uh, just like you do today. Mm -hmm. All right. Are all the intermediate events elements enabled in Process Maker 4? Process Maker 4 has different elements. So we need to understand that. Process Maker 4 has sign notes, has boundary events, has many things you can enjoy and use. But uh, it, of course, there are some similar events that you will have like email events, but um, Process Maker 4 has different things to come, right? Your, your intermediate events in use in your current processes will continue to function. Yeah. All right, another question here. Uh, we did an upgrade from Process Maker 3.2 to Process Maker 3.7 and did notice there were a few changes in UI and customization was not available and supported similar to 3.2. And finally, we did not move forward. Will that be the same case with Process Maker 4 migration? No, because we will maintain the same environment of Process Maker 3 without any kind of modification. So if we are in the version 3.8, because at minimum you have to be in version 3.8, uh, by integrating this with Process Maker Platform, you won't have a, any kind of changes regarding the, the, the use of your Process Maker 3 instance or Process Maker Classic in this case. But you need to be at least in, vers in version 3.8. Okay. Another question here, uh, we've had issues on Process Maker 2 and Process Maker 3 when large amounts of cases are created. Does this platform being in cloud, could it be affected by a number of cases? Well, um, I don't think we'll, you will have the same problems because it, each database is independent. So if you have your cases on Process Maker 3 and you're in the latest version, you will enjoy the, the optimization we have made regarding performance. So in that sense, I don't know in what version of Process Maker uh, two or, or well, in Process Maker three version you are, but the idea is that that latest version of Process Maker three it is very efficient regarding performance. What's important okay. to underscore here, real quick, is that we are making very strategic investments and decisions in developing a fully rounded cloud offering, which include just optimizations all the foundations for scale. We have um, many number of customers with thousands of transactions. So this is the focus of our investments. So certainly we only want to do so as long as we can ensure the right performance and response um, criteria and service level that are acceptable for all our users. Uh, we wouldn't want any compromise on that effect anyway. Correct. Okay. All right, next question. Uh, will Process Maker Classic continue to have its bugs fixed and new features added, or will Process Maker focus on developing new features and fix bugs on Process Maker 4 and Process Maker Classic? Yeah. A wonderful is... question. Uh, sorry, Mauricio. No, I was going to, uh, we're going to say the same thing. We are not deprioritizing bug fixes and uh, you know, performance improvements and whatnot on, on PM Classic and PM3 compatibility. That is still a very much active part of our development and an investment because PM Classic is very much and will be very much an active piece of the PM platform offering. That's why we're bringing them together. Anything to add, Mauricio? No, I, uh, our main focus is just to guarantee the operations you have. So we will continue fixing problems on Process Maker 3. But we want you to enjoy the new technology we are developing for Process Maker Platform. That is why our new effort is dedicated to the new roadmap we will have. And new things to come for, for Process Maker Platform will be amazing. We are using artificial intelligence. We are using many things. So we will dedicate all the efforts of doing improvements and new features on Process Maker Platform rather than Process Maker 3. Perfect. Uh, will we be able to export and import process, processes and reports, custom plugins and skins from Process Maker 3 to Process Maker 4? No, because we need to understand that both platforms are slightly different. You will have, of course, the, the import export functionalities. That is, that is, of course, something that we need to have for both products. But it, both products it can, uh, from Process Maker 3 to Process Maker 4, won't be possible. Okay. Uh, another question here. Is there a platform where details of all the new features 
of the latest version will be given? Of course, you need to re review our, um, our documentation for Process Maker 4. We have a site that is Process Maker Kitbook IO. I recommend you to go there and you will find all the fe marvelous features we have for Process Maker Plus. All right. Any other questions out there before we wrap up today? Well, we went through quite a few questions there. Uh, we hope we gave as much feedback to you and clarification as possible. Uh, did you guys have anything else to say before we close out today? Well, we're excited. We're excited about this offering. Um, again, I just want to underline the, the value proposition that everything that you have functioning today in PM3 will continue to function, will continue to be actively supported in terms of, of uh, bug fixes, uh, you know, performance improvements and the like, while offering you a, a capability of at your own pace, start inheriting new features, new capabilities, and then reimagining re how to redesign some of these processes, leveraging all the new tools that uh, have become available to you. All right, looks like we did get a few more questions here. Um, where can I find out, find out more about this change? Uh, I think Mauricio, you just said that, right? Yeah, but specifically regarding process maker platform, we will make that, that information available on April 3rd. Once we launch officially Process Maker platform, you will have the information on the, our wiki pages of Process Maker. Uh, James Fung, uh, he says, thank you all. Very informative and looks very promising. Thank you so You're much, welcome, James. James. We appreciate that comment. Uh, another question here. If a customer insists on knowing how long it's going to take to migrate from Process Maker 3 to Process Maker 4, how do we address this? Well, as mentioned at the beginning, you need to contact your customer success agent, and we can we can provide more information for each one of the clients. As explained at the beginning, it, this integration won't take so long. Just remember the the main requirements we need to have for your process maker three plan uh, environment. Alrighty. Any other last questions? Oh, here we go. Uh, if Process Maker Classic remains a separate product from Process Maker 4, out of curiosity, why are we rolling them up into one platform? Maybe I'm missing something, but what's the benefits? Yeah, that is a very good question. <clears throat> we understand that it can be challenging to switch to a new platform, especially if this is a completely different product. That is why we wanted to give our customers the flexibility to continue using Process Maker 3 without any limitations or restrictions. While we have in this, while we have this option to design new processes using the new powerful features we have on Process Maker Plan. All right, thank you, Mauricio. All right, any more questions? Go ahead and put them in the Q and A section. All right, I think that's it, gentlemen. Well, thank you so much to Jose and Mauricio, and thank you all so much for joining us today. We hope to see you on April 3rd for the official release of Process Maker Flat Platform. Thanks so much again, and have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.